Hi everyone, myself I say Constantine from BMAX Academy, Mavram Branch and I am the pharmacy trainer here. In my class, I would like to discuss with you about antiviral drugs. We have to try three drugs, so like HAD, MOH, Prometric. So after 2-3 years interval, we will have to study pharmacology because it is very difficult. So we will have to study the antiviral drugs classification. I will just show it to you. So, you know what is a virus, isn't it? Virus is a microscopic particle which contains a outer capsid layer or a protein layer with a inside genetic material. We have a lot of viruses, HIV virus, even the corona virus which have affected the last 2-3 years we have been affected with corona. Similarly, hepatitis B, Ebola, adenovirus. Uh, then influenza, rabies virus, bacteriophages, so different types of viruses are there. So let, I will show you how a virus is there and how we can uh, treat a virus when it is infected inside a cell. So this is actually a virus, you can see here. So virus contains a protein coat, which is the outer coat is called as a protein coat. It is also called as a capsid layer. Then inside you can just see a genetic material. So genetic material can either be a DNA or RNA. And that is random virula, that is DNA and RNA both does not exist in a virus. Either a DNA or an RNA will be existing. That is why there is a virus in outside environment multiplication. Patilla. So where will it multiply? In our host cell like a human. So I will show you the viral replication now. So you can see here, actually in this picture I have shown an adenovirus. So an adenovirus when it comes inside our cell, what will happen is it will bind to a receptor. Okay, our cell in the receptors are there. So it will bind to a receptor on the surface of a human cell, let it be an RBC. So first step is the receptor, attachment of the virus onto the receptor and that is called as adsorption. Second process is penetration. Penetration is the virus will go inside the human cell. Human cell is not going to be able to get it. The process like entocytosis, fusion, etc. So, if we fuse it, the cell is not the virus has entered. Next step is that is called as uncoating. So, in uncoating, what is happening is the virus will release its capsid layer and outer protein remove chayam. next step is then genetic material matram it comes inside the nucleus nucleus nagatha genetic material will come inside so that happens in the process called as uncoating next step is called as a early transcription phase up early transcription phase lenda nadakane nanna viral dna molecule will synthesize new mrna molecule mrna molecule synthesize chain endinanu paranjal because we need to prepare or multiply the viral cells. So that is happening in the early transcription phase. So synthesis of new mRNAs happen in the transcription phase. Any transcription I will add the stage is called as a translation phase. Up a translation and the along with this uh, DNA strands or RNA strands, we need more proteins as well as enzymes. Synthesis mRNA or DNA on down enzymes. So enzymes are also synthesized in the phase called as translation phase. Next step is called as a DNA synthesis phase. Our end RNA, that is the single stranded RNA gets converted to double stranded DNA, and that happens in this phase, which is called as a DNA synthesis phase. Next step is called as a rate, late translation. Our end that because I already told you that our genetic material is a protein capsid layer under. So capsid layer prepare we need to we need enzymes and proteins. So that happens in the late translation phase. Next step is called as a condensation phase where the capsid layer on the capsid layer all the genetic material is to be and that takes place in the condensation finally assembling you can see here kind of first one or virus and number host another angle it is multiplied into three and thereby millions of uh, viruses will release out from a host cell and it will be released out from the host cell with the help of an enzyme called new remedies new remedies in an enzyme on our viral virus in a port of can help you change so now I will just explain so you now you know how a virus undergoes replication in either in a normal treat yeah my ling and normal drugs over time to prevent yeah my tone all other I will just explain to you so in this picture can you I will just explain with this itself so or I don't know virus one the number of receptor not the bind yeah so we can use a receptor blocker or we can say the receptor may be CCR5 of a CCR5 receptor blocker can be used for preventing that you know virus binding to the host cell host cell binding in a receptor 
നമുക്ക് ബ്ലോക്ക് ചെയ്യിപ്പിക്കാം ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഡ്രഗ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് ആസ് മറാവിറോക്ക് സി സി ആർ ഫൈവ് റിസെപ്റ്റർ ബ്ലോക്കർ മറാവിറോക്ക് സെക്കൻഡ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് എന്താണ് നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞു ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് മറാവിറോക്ക് പിന്നെ പെനട്രേഷൻ ദ സെൽ ആഫ്റ്റർ Uh, binding to the receptor, it enters into the cell. Cell in agathe gera nooko by the process called as penetration. Penetration process inhibited in the drug under which is called as fusion inhibitor such as enfuvirtide. Enfuvirtide no anna drug aana idhne penetrate cheyyan sammed kya atta da. Next we have the uncoating process. Adha idha the out, outside capsid layer will be released off and the inner genetic material will come into the nucleus of the host. So adha prevent in the drug aana amantridin, rimantridin. Namada Uh, like uh, we can say all the anti influenza drugs all the anti influenza drugs can be used here so that what can happen its uncoating can be prevented next step is called as a dna synthesis so but dna synthesis to prevent dna i have already told you dna synthesis not going to be we need enzymes such as dna polymerase enzyme and we also need enzymes such as reverse transcriptase so other prevent dna drugs can be used in this step that is dna synthesis i will say you the drugs anti herpes virus drugs like as i clover then we have gansi clover then idoxuridin but all these drugs are acting at this phase okay where are in parayam that is we have nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors so nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors like sidovudin lamovudin stavudin idellam evada varum adum ivadeyana inhibit cheyanad one more classification is that non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors like delaveridin efavirin nevirapin adu vela evada act cheyana ee or dna synthesis ne yana inhibit cheyanad then after that we can go there and finally i told you that late translation phase la endha nadakkunnad avada capsid proteins are formed and that can be prevented by drugs such as protease inhibitors protease inhibitors endu cheyum nu parna a capsid undavunnad tadiyum so protease inhibitors such as ritonavir indunavir sacinavir so all those drugs are happening at this stage then finally when a uh, uh, virus has to come out of the cell isn't it so that is with the help of an enzyme called neuraminidase so neuraminidase enzyme inhibitors will prevent the release of the virus from the cell and that drug includes we can say oseltamivir isn't it oseltamivir oseltamivir is a neuraminidase inhibitor that can also be act here thereby the virus cannot comes out of the cell so these are some drugs which we study in our antiviral classification so i think you understand my class and if If you need more classes come and join with us be the bmax academy thank you all bye